Okay, so here is our third week in the tri triphasic training. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about triphasic, uh, look up Cal Dietz. He's got a lot of great stuff. Uh, one of the best out there, right? So he uh, he does two weeks, which we did last last two weeks. We did two weeks of eccentric work. Now we're going to work on absorbing that force, holding it for in an isometric hold. I know it's a little different than you know pulling up and pushing into the isometric here. We're just going to hold it in that uh, squat position and then we're gonna explode up. So we're gonna pull down controlled speed. We want, we want speed coming down, but we don't want to compromise our technique, okay? So as fast as you can, obviously you're more uh, trained. Uh, athletes or students are gonna be a little faster uh, and just have them increase that speed as they become better and better, okay? Uh, hold for three seconds, hold that position and explode up. So this is week three of the triphasic. We're gonna do a little isometric. Pull down with controlled speed. Uh, right now we're about 60% of our max. For the second set. And we're doing reps of five. All right, talking a little bit about uh, the isometric uh, portion of, uh, of the triphasic uh, workout. Uh, so this is, this is our week three. Uh, so what we're trying to do is really trying to absorb that force uh, as quickly as we can without compromising any technique, right? So what we want to do is how is it going to transfer out into the football field, right? So changing directions. You've got to be able to lower your center of gravity and you're going full speed, right? So lower your center of gravity to be able to absorb that force and then be able to explode out of that, okay? So that's kind of how this uh, technique, this method transfers to our athletes uh, on the field or on the court, okay? So this is our week three. Uh, week two, we learned how to absorb with our eccentric. Week three, we are catching and being able to stop on a dime. <sighs> Controlled speed, doing sets of five. Now we're at about 65% of our max. <sighs> Ooh, one more. So one of the things we wanna focus on when we do the isometric phase of the triphasic uh, workout, and like I said, if you have any questions about it, you wanna get more into it, uh, Cal Dietz got books, videos, uh, look up Cal Dietz, one of the best out there, okay? So, um, but one of the things that he mentions is that you wanna pull yourself down with the muscles that you want to be working, right? So like your hamstrings and your glutes. You don't wanna just fall down. One of the things that I have an issue with is my hamstring and my left hamstring, my left glute not working as well as I want it to. So a lot of times what ends up happening when I do squats is my quad fires and holds me in that position, okay? So I really need to focus on bringing myself down with my hamstrings and my glutes, so pulling myself down, not just dropping and catching myself with my quads, right? Okay. So we're going sets of four here for the last set. We're doing 75% of our one RM. Remember, focus on pulling yourself down with your hamstrings and your glutes. This way they stay stretched and engaged. Something that I definitely need to focus on. Oof. 